All right, well, here's our site. I'll have to put the site number on the screen because I don't remember it. I've been to so many <laughs> campgrounds. This is Sheridan KOA. Um, they all are pull through. Just like any KOA, you don't get your site number until you check in. Look, they have bunnies. <laughs> They're all over this place. Bunnies and squirrels. So we're right next to the playground. Jacelyn got to make some friends here. It was she had fun. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this place? Oh, it has does have sewer hookup. Okay, so I'm assuming all sites do. I think uh I think it said that all sites did, but I'm not sure. So make sure you check that if you want that. I know they had a mini golf up towards the front. They've got a camp store. Um, you see their cabins. And then I'm not sure what this is. Let's zoom in here. I'm not sure what you do there. If you just put your tent next to it and you have a little picnic shelter. I don't, I'm not sure about that. I'll have to look on the website and see what that's about. This place was just a stopover for us for two nights because the way our reservations worked out and literally all we did was stop over. Like we've barely done anything. We rode through the town of Sheridan. It doesn't really have anything. I was very surprised. I've always heard about Sheridan, Wyoming, but apparently I've missed what the big, you know, thing was of why I've heard of it. Todd was cleaning out the kitty litter box. It's a good husband. Vicky, he's in there somewhere. He's he's mad. He don't want to be in here this morning. He's being calm, but he's not having it. Kaya, Kaya, hi. How are you? <laughs> so our waggle does work here, which is runs off of a Verizon network, but. T-Mobile doesn't. <laughs> it barely works here. There's lots of places it doesn't work. Now at the campsite here at the KOA, we did have service. We had, we had, um, we did have T-Mobile service here for data and for cell service so we could receive phone calls and stuff like that. But out in town, there was lots of places like we went to the GNC to pick up packages that we had ordered and it didn't work in town and he said he has Verizon and his doesn't work. So, I don't know, I guess it's hit or miss, but T-Mobile is like, we went in Walmart or near Walmart and didn't have service. So, don't count on your T-Mobile if you have some sort of monitor, get Waggle, because it does work here. It's worked at every campground so far, right? What? Hasn't Waggle worked at every campground yeah. so far? Uh, Verizon for out west here seems like it's the yeah. way to go. Yeah, but like that kid said, his Verizon doesn't work very well here. I don't, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I trust it because our phone started working pretty good after that, and that worked great right here. Yeah, the the well, it doesn't work great because I haven't had any problems you, here at camp. Well, you haven't done or what I did. Yeah, I done any of that. So I tried to upload a video, and it took three hours, if not a little bit over. Probably a little bit over than that, almost four hours to upload a video. So that's not good, so it's not working great. But cell service is good and you can get on the internet. So I was able to watch YouTube yesterday and it didn't matter if I used my hotspot on my T-Mobile or I used their Wi-Fi, I could still, and we had our TV going on their, on their Wi-Fi. So that works, but don't expect to come here and upload. <laughs> and don't expect to go to Starbucks and upload anything because we went to Starbucks yesterday and they were closed. Like maybe possibly because it was Sunday. A lot of things are closed here on Sunday and they close early on Saturday, which we're not used to in Orlando. Everything's open like almost 24 hours. So anyway, enough. We're heading to 7th Ranch for Little Bighorn Battlefield State Park. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Let me check. Bighorn Battlefield National Monument. Mm -hmm. 